Hi, is this Jeremy? Yeah. Hi, Jeremy. It's Officer James Frederick PD. Oh, hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, you know, over at Chris and Shanann's house right now. Oh, you are? Yeah, we just stopped by to make sure Chris is okay. Okay, uh, when you leave there, go ahead and give me a call. I'm, we're getting in our cars right now. Oh, okay. So you got time to talk? Audrey and try to lay down. Okay, you have time to talk then? Yeah, for sure I do. So you don't... Uh, I got your number from Chris. Yeah, yeah. And I was just trying to, you know, figure out if there's anything that you could tell me uh, that could maybe help in locating her. There's not. We were just talking to him, too, trying to get answers out of him, how we can help. Okay. Um, he was at our house yesterday for my kid's birthday with the girls, and then we just saw this on Facebook, you know, an hour ago while I was laying on the couch from her mom. Okay. So. And what did her mom say on Facebook? Do you know? Her her mom just said my daughter's missing with her kids. Pray for her. Okay. It's all over Facebook right now. I have my neighbors are calling me right now too to say what the heck's going on. Right. Where do you guys live in Frederick or where do you guys live? We live in Erie. Okay. We're just by the high school. We're not that far. And it's you and your wife. Uh, no, and our three kids. Okay. Um. So you're. You and your wife are friends with him and her? Is that uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I worked with Shanae. Shanae, when I first moved out, she worked with me at Long Walk Ford. Okay. And then uh, she went, what did she, she went to doing this Thrive stuff. Okay. Her home business stuff. But Chris was a mechanic there, too, so I've known him for uh, six years or so. Okay. Give or take. Is there anything that you could think of that would could help us in locating her? Any any clues? Not nothing. I mean, th this isn't her normal personality to not take her phone. She lives on her phone. Right. Not her normal personality to have the car seat still in the car. Right. You know, and not take the car. Any of that stuff. That's not normal practice for her. She she lives a very scheduled life, if you will. Okay. Um, you know, kids in bed at seven, rain machine goes on, they fall asleep right away. She's got them, you know, mother motherly trained really well. Um, I know her kids take medicine. Chris said they have extra medicine, but some of the medicine is still here. I would assume she took it with her. But the car seat still being in the car is weird, too. Right. But, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm lost for for ideas because I don't, we, I mean, because they moved out here from North Carolina. We moved out here from California. So as far as knowing a lot of people in the area, it's, you know, it's not a lot of people. Right. <laughs> other than people from work. <laughs> so I don't even know who any of their other friends would be that, you know, she would go to their house or anything like that. All right. You know, and they just got back from Arizona last night. Do you guys know anything about their marriage or anything like that? No. Um, I mean, as far as I've always learned, I mean, Chris is just an easygoing dude, and, you know, they've never, they've always been fine. Okay. So, well, if, if there's anything they don't tell us. <laughs> if you guys come we in... We only hang out with them once every few months or so. It's not every day or every week or anything, but... And he was over there yesterday as in Sunday? Yeah, they were... Yeah, they were just there yesterday for uh, my son's birthday party. Okay. And she was still in Arizona flying flying home last night. Okay. And I saw her last Facebook post was uh, leaving the airport to fly home last night. But it's weird that she wouldn't at least call her mom because she talks to her mom every day from what I understand. Okay. If there's anything that you guys can think of that could help us uh you can call this number back and it'll forward you to a dispatch number uh, okay. and you can reach an officer 24 7 by calling that dispatch number um, okay cool and if you come into contact with her for whatever reason and uh just have her call us and you know if she doesn't want to talk to chris or whatever the, the case may be uh yeah. we're not we're not concerned about whatever's going on between them because obviously yeah. something for her to go to go missing. For uh, sure, yeah. Whatever, 
just tell her we want to make sure that she's safe if you talk to her and that oh yeah for sure that we'll keep it all private but we just want to make sure that we we want to talk to her that's really what it comes down to and okay um would you do that for me yeah absolutely okay and if you guys can think of anything um just give us a holler and and we'd be glad to listen okay okay thank you thank you okay bye